Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a prayer journal slash gratitude journal slash memory keeping slash whatever else is kind of spread. I am going to... Oh, and I'm also going to do like a story time too. It's, it's just going to be a lot. Like it's going to be a lot here. Um, but I wanted to do a spread like this for you guys because A, I realized that I never told you guys how I moved back to Charlotte from DC. And so I wanted to kind of just talk through that. But I also wanted to pay homage to DC and, you know, like just throw a couple of pictures on here about, you know, like my time in DC and yeah, just, I, I wanted to throw a couple of pictures on here. And then also this is nothing but God, like this entire journey back to Charlotte has been nothing but God. So I had to give him his props and I needed to throw a Bible verse on here and just kind of write a blurb about how I'm grateful for everything that he's done for me. So it's just going to be all that. It's going to be all of it. So just sit back, grab some snacks, and let me just jump into my story. Well, no, I ain't going to jump into my story first yet. But first, I want to tell you guys what I'm doing. So I, I'm taking a bunch of stickers. I'm taking some stamps right now that I got from Michaels and I'm going to stamp the word faith as my title, kind of like my header on this page. And then I'm going to take a bunch of stickers. So what you see me doing right now is um, I got this little sticker pad from Michaels the other day and I just... I needed to put flowers on this spread. Like you guys already know I love flowers and I specifically wanted to do pink flowers for this spread because pink flowers remind me of cherry blossoms and cherry blossoms remind me of DC. So it's it's all coming together. It's all going to just come together in the end. But but yeah, so that's the spread that I'm doing. So like you'll be you'll be seeing me do that spread right now but um i wanted to do a voiceover and just kind of tell you guys the story about how i got back to charlotte from dc so first off let me just preface this by just giving you a little bit of background on why i even went to dc in the first place i didn't have a reason i was just i got i was bored of north carolina and my entire family's in north carolina and it just it, it, North Carolina was comfortable and I, I wanted to get out of my comfort zone and I didn't have any kids I, I don't have any kids speaking the present I don't have any kids and you know I don't have any commit I didn't have any commitments so I was like why not why not just go to DC and you know basically just start a new life you know and that's what I did I did that in 2015 and first I moved to Alexandria Virginia and had to get you know used to the snow and used to the cost of living because those are things that you know North Carolina it, it, they're very different in North Carolina so um you know I had to get used to that but all in all like I enjoyed my time in Alexandria I loved my apartment in Alexandria I ended up getting a new job and um just like I just I ended up loving DC like I loved the the ability to just kind of walk out my door and go to, you know, the movies without having to get in a car. Like, I, I love the ability to just hop on the metro and go wherever or, you know, just walk down the street and do whatever. And it was it was amazing. Like, I, I just loved my time in D.C. and just and and you guys probably know this from watching some of my more recent videos but or not recent but like early 2018 videos i actually moved to dc like to the actual city and um you know it was loud and it, i had to get used to it but i loved it i loved it so much like from there i definitely could just kind of walk out my door outside there like literally downstairs was a cbs like like I lived on the fourth floor of my apartment and there was a CVS on the first floor. Um, the doctor's office was on the first floor. There was a dentist's office across the street. There was Chipotle across the street. 
Um, there was a soul food restaurant that I really loved. That was that was on the first floor, right next to the um, right next to the doctor's office, which you know whatever. And Smoothie King, and I, I ain't gonna go through all that, but um, you know, like I just loved everything. Like I loved that apartment. I loved everything about DC. Um, the only thing that I didn't really like about DC, well, there were two things. So the first thing was my family. I wasn't around my family. <laughs> my, like I said, my family was all in North Carolina and it was hard to not be here, you know? Um, and especially for some of my younger family members. So my cousin, you know, my cousins were growing up and, or they are growing up and, you know, my niece is growing up and I'm not there, you know, like I wasn't there. And, um, my cousin graduated high school and I wasn't there, you know, and it was just one of those things where it was just like, I, I don't want to keep missing events, you know, and then, you know, my dad got sick and I couldn't be here and, or, you know, like I, I, I got here as fast as I could, but it was almost like, you know, it's a journey to like get to, you know, like to be from my home to come back to, you know, see my family. And so it was just, and then, you know, vice versa too, you know, whenever I got sick, like I, I ended up um, having to be admitted into the hospital a few, a few years ago. And no one was here, you know, like no one was here to kind of be with me. And that was actually the first time I got admitted into the hospital at all. Like, and I had to stay for like three days, but it it was one of those things where it was just like, you know, I, I don't have anyone. So I constantly battled this, um, I constantly battled this feeling of like loneliness while I was in DC and, um, you know, and, and me, I, you know, the, you know, this is the Just Loves Life channel. We like to be optimistic around here. And, you know, I, I love seeing the bright side of everything, but it got to a point where, you know, I still didn't, I don't know, like it, it got to a point where I still had negative thoughts and just, you know, I was still lonely. And as much as I tried to fight it and say like, no, no, I have, you know, friends and I have you know, these people care about me and these people care about me. They weren't my family. Um, you know, it's just, it's nothing like your family. And I ended up, um, you know, that was, that was one thing that I just, I didn't really, I didn't like about being in DC is that I was just so far away from my family. And the second thing that I didn't like about DC was my job. I kind of got to a point where I was, I, I just didn't really like my job anymore and it was it was one it was hard because I liked the people but I didn't like the job that I was doing and I couldn't foresee myself staying at that job for a long time like I didn't want to make a career out of that specific job and that was another thing but you know that was that was kind of a minor annoyance and then you know my just me missing my family and all that was like probably the number one reason and you know it just got to a point where um I would say about August of this year I ended up going through a serious serious bout of depression where um I it, it got very serious to the point where I couldn't even get out of bed to work like I, I didn't like I went to work one day and just like broke down like had an emotional breakdown and just left like I just didn't I didn't want to be there anymore and so um you know that's not it's not a good look <laughs> it's not a good look at all but I just I just left and didn't I, I don't know like I just it was one of those things where my mental health was just like deteriorating and, and I, I didn't, I couldn't do anything about it. Or I, at the time, I didn't think there was anything I could do about it. I just, you know, and, and I constantly battled this. It, it was this constant battle between me physically 
you know, being in D.C. physically and loving it versus mentally being in D.C. and hating it. And, you know, I constantly dealt with that. And sorry, guys, if you hear my voice kind of shaking. <laughs> um, you know, I'm I'm tearing up a little bit. This is actually the first time I've, um, like, talked about all this to someone that's not my therapist. <laughs> so, you know, just... Don't mind me. Um, it's you know, but also the story has a happy ending, so you know, don't worry too too much. But, um, but yeah, so I just I went through like a serious bout of depression to the point where, um, you know, like I even went to church and church didn't help at all. Like I just I had this, you know, I, I like I said, I'm just loves life and we happy and optimistic over here, but. Um, you know, usually I can talk myself out of a negative thought. Like if, if a negative thought crosses my mind, I can be like, nope, get out of here. Um, we doing good over here. We good. We good on any MLK Boulevard. We good. But that time I, I couldn't like that at that point in my life, like I just I couldn't talk myself out of all the negative thoughts. And, you know, it got to a point where I I honestly just felt like 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 the world would be better off if I just wasn't here and um you know it just it got bad it got really really bad but um I ended up just I, I ended up just telling myself like I can't do this for much longer like I can't like be in this mental space for that much longer so what I ended up doing was I went to my manager one day and and it was actually the day after Labor Day so Labor Day was on a Monday and um Tuesday I went into work and I had a meeting with my manager and I told her I said I don't want to be in DC and I don't want this job like flat like flat out like that like I was just like I can't I can't do this anymore like I I can't do this anymore so you would probably be better off to look for a replacement for me because I need to go back to North Carolina like I I didn't have a plan of what was going to happen I like I was going to break my lease early and move back to North Carolina I did not have a job I did not have no place to stay I did not have a lot of money I had a little bit of savings but I didn't have that much money and I didn't care like I was just like I I need to get out of DC for the sake of my mental health and she and basically and I'm really appreciative for my manager and my job because they ended up letting me um just work they they ended up letting me work for as long as possible and until I found a new job and kind of got my life a little bit set up in North Carolina and it was kind of a win-win for both of us because it allowed me to make money (laughs) as I was trying to you know make that transition so you know money is always helpful when you have to relocate from another state and um you know it was a win-win for them because you know they weren't going to be down a staff member you know they weren't going to be down a team member um while they looked for a replacement so you know, it was a win-win, and I really appreciate my job for all of the support that they gave me, um, you know, during that time. I just, yeah, and, and like I said, I didn't have any plan. I didn't have any job. I didn't have anything lined up, and I worked for about a month and a half after I put in my notice, and I got a call from a recruiter, actually, from a job here in Charlotte, from a company here in Charlotte, and she basically told me about the job. It was a job that I've, I really wanted, actually. It was a, a role that I really wanted, and which I really appreciated that because I was like, it got to a point where I was like, you know what, I'm going to just have to take any old job, and I'm not going to like it, but I just have to get to Charlotte. But this ended up being a role that I really, really wanted to do. And I was very, very interested in. And the recruitment process for that job took like two weeks, y'all. No lie. And y'all know how jobs are. Like, you know, when you put in your resume, you can be waiting for like three months. But this job, like, actually 
like I interviewed with the manager on a Monday and I was doing an in-person interview on a Friday on that same Friday and it like it moved lightning fast and it was just it was crazy how how quick it was like how quick that process was but basically um everything fell together like everything just kind of came together at the end um and that's why I wanted to make this a faith and and like a faith planner video or a faith spread because it was nothing but God it was nothing but God that the fact that all of this came together in the end and you know yeah because I just I didn't have any plan of what was going on so I just really appreciate God I also really appreciate you guys for listening to this long story this is how the entire thing turned out I really appreciate you guys for watching and listening I love you guys and I will see you next time bye